Welcome to our first YouTube video. Hell yeah. With us. <laughs> um, Yo, so. what's going on everyone? Hey, and you're coming back at you with a brand new video. What's going this on guys? One. Tanner Plains here. We got to <laughs> check it for a pulse over here. Um, we are back with another video, but in this one, <laughs> different location, different state, pretty random state if I do say so yeah, myself. And we are back together. <laughs> Once again, we did not get the opportunity to film a video the last time, which is a little bit unfortunate. Yeah. However, I'll let you guys, for the 18 people who don't know who you are, who are watching this right now, <laughs> what do you do? Um, why do you do it? I, well, uh, I drop, well, I well, drop this ship. Is the thing, we all like got started with e-com, but we all do e-com differently. Yeah, and we all make money online. Um, three scammers right here um, on the video. Um, anyway, so this the topic of this video is the future of ecom. We kind of just wanted to make kind of like panel style, just kind of sit down and talk about it. Which is Maybe funny. Bounce we, around we were some ideas. Just on a panel. Oh yeah, at the Build Your Empire yeah, event. Yeah. Does do you guys have the footage from that? Can we insert? Yeah, we'll just like plug some stuff right here. Like, I never whoop. got any of the footage, so maybe. But we spoke on stage. It's pretty cool. I posted a photo of. I think we all did on Instagram. Yeah. So, so we're not gonna lie, guys. What like maybe like two two more good months of drop shipping until it's over? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's 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 past. It's like you got like five weeks. So like you know, get in, get out, move, move quick. You but. better use a uh, Herify. <laughs> <laughs> Only two months. We Leo, we Leo, get that spin bomb. <laughs> get the email. Oh, Anywho, we all and this is something I, I mentioned when we were all getting on stage. I literally said. This could turn into like a bloodbath dog fight. I was saying that like into the microphone to like 200 people <laughs> because we all do ecom differently, and it kind of did. Like we were throwing some jabs. Like that's I'm true. Doing a strategy. He grabs the mic and says wrong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's like, 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 uh, I actually do it completely different than that. Th that is <laughs> always about <laughs> branding and starting a brand. And I'm like, well, actually, if you're starting out, I wouldn't start a brand. I would not <laughs> start with like privately and move out of the gate. But <laughs> that's so anyways. Funny. So we all do it completely differently. So I want to kind of touch on each of the way that you know. Not only we kind of found our strategy, but like what that looks like a little bit. Obviously, that'd be like ten hours each, just going through at least. Yeah. Um, so let's let's go through that. our strategies for beginners, and then let's talk about the future of those strategies. I like that. So start with you. Okay. So we're gonna talk about Facebook ads specifically, or just e-com. Just in how are you? I mean, somebody's watching this okay, video so right now. Okay. So I first yeah. got into e-com by utilizing Facebook ads. Okay, and I knew nothing about Facebook ads, and this is where I messed up. I knew a lot about Instagram influencers at the time because the reason or the way that I got my money to start e-commerce in general was by growing Instagram influencer pages. So I knew a lot about that space, yet for some reason, people convinced me Facebook's where the money is, which is not entirely wrong. However, I had no experience on it, no basis of learning, nowhere to learn that. So long story short, failed with that, flipped it to Instagram influencers, started making money. Now I reverted back. The only thing I do now is Facebook ads. That's literally it. I will do Instagram influencers, not for the purpose of posting, but I will get a good looking ad with someone who's very, very credible so that I can then run that on Facebook. So that's the way I kind of approach that. Now with Facebook ads specifically, you know, if we want to get in depth with the way that I kind of, you know, run some of my ads, I don't do anything like PPE. I'm not running stuff that's, you know, any of the primary things I use is the conversion event. And I don't always start with optimizing for a purchase. It's as simple as that. So that's me. I like to build data. I like to go through not only while I'm building data on the pixel itself, I'm identifying what audience works, but also what ad works. So I'm split testing between two different main ads, which doesn't mean the targeting or anything. That's the ad creative itself. So if it's a picture or a video and the ad copy, I don't want to come in there with like 30. That's too many variables to test. You know, it's, you don't know exactly what's giving you the results or what's not. Mm. So doing that, just know that no matter what you do, I think whether you follow any of you know what we're doing, which is three completely different things in a similar space, or anyone else, you're still going to take. Actually, time. let it's me quickly say, money. if you're going to choose one of us to follow, just choose one and, and stick with the way that we give exactly. our strategies. Don't don't consume like I mean consume our content, but if you're going to say okay, I like I think that Sebastian's way is the best way, or I think that Hayden or Thaddeus's way is like will be the easiest. Go with that way and only do that way because mixing us, like mixing our three strategies will actually get you lost. Yeah, this is, that's, that's actually true. something I call mass mixing. It's like a little term I came up for it. That's where you can take as many people as you want, which just means more than one and you're trying to like mix all of that stuff, which is something that I like to do once something's already working. Yeah. So for example, like if, you're already, if you follow me for an example and you're making like 10K a month, and now you want to start testing a little bit of what he's doing, kind of mixed in with what's already you, you found that's working off of what I taught you. Well, you can do that. Yeah. But don't try and do that right away. Definitely just, get experience. Yeah, one hundred percent. Um, are you done? Yeah. All right, cool. I'll. So, <laughs> are you done, bro? <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Hurry up. To watch um, me, jeez. So good things take time. <laughs> when I started, it was kind of different. Like I started like my first. 
thing was kind of like a brand, like an attempt at a brand. It wasn't really that good. Um, but now the, the easiest way that I've kind of discovered to drop ship is to go and find stuff that's already selling in the market um, at, a, at a huge volume and then and then essentially just jump in that pool and start selling with those people, but just do it a little bit better than they do it. Um, and then when it comes to Facebook ads, I can, if it's like a, if it's worth my time, I'll try Instagram. If it's like an Instagram product, I'll try Instagram, like maybe three to five influencers just to get some basic data, maybe a couple purchases, uh, just to see like what's going on on Instagram. And then I move over to Facebook and I'll literally split test anything that I could possibly think of. So like the first day, with Facebook, I'll probably have 30 to 35 ad sets the first day that it's running, all running at five bucks a day. Um, and then it's like with that, like you'll get data in, like in two days, like two to three days, you'll get an immense amount of data and then you can continue split testing and, and canceling what doesn't work and, and increasing the budget on what does work. And then that's, it's actually pretty simple, um, but it's easy to find, it's easy to find products just going on Facebook and, and seeing what's trending right now or what's selling really well. If you literally go on Facebook and type in get yours now, you'll, it'll just be ads on ads on ads and you could see when they started promoting it. Like sometimes it'll say like two weeks ago, it'll say a month ago and, and if they have anywhere over a million views and it's only been like two to three weeks or a month, that's how you know they're promoting it like crazy. Um, and so it could be a product that you could you know potentially think about selling. And then you could also go and double check with AliExpress. You go check with the transaction history, make sure it's being ordered daily. If it is, then that's kind of like a green flag. You can go and sell it. And guys, like go model your competitors. Don't try to do something new. Like if, if 10 people are doing something that works, if 10 people are doing the exact same thing every single day, what does that tell you? It tells you that it's works, right? So go do what they're doing. and. Just try maybe like tweaking one or two things, but for the most part, model your competitors and, and do exactly what they're doing. And that's kind of the way that I've, I've moved and kind of transitioned into dropshipping. That's kind of the way I do it. Awesome. I like that. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, so my way's, a bit, <laughs> my way's a little bit different um, just because I'm so content focused. Like I, I create content for really big, you know, brands and stuff. Like me. Um, that's kind of how, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, that's how I got into it. But basically, like, it started similar to Hayden where, like, I had no idea how to use Facebook ads. So I, I went to Instagram Influences first and... My first store, like I was broke, so like I was in college, I was broke. I was just trying to like finesse some money, like literally, like how can I make money online? Um, and then I ended up, you know, making a contract with an influencer, and then they were running ads, um, shoutouts, and then from there, I just did more influencer stuff. And I still, like at that time, wasn't super invested into Facebook. And then I was like realizing, okay, you know, if if I actually understand how Facebook works and whatnot, I can move into that. But I got started utilizing influencers, and what I do nowadays is like I use this thing called like the bull rush technique, where it's like basically just a bunch of data within the span. Of like 48 hours utilizing Instagram influencers so basically like it's, imagine like you're working with 20 different like influencers right that you already have vetted already know that work and then you run a shout out like I would for instance if I'm using 20 influencers I might have 10 influencers go up at the same time and then the rest go out within the next 48 hour period that's how I get like a lot of data really really fast again you want to know the influencers already work you want to know the products already work so it takes a little bit of testing and not something like you want to do right out of the gate but then from there I have a bunch of data that I'm able to work with and I'll immediately have retargeting ads go up on Facebook and then a Eventually, I can move into like LLAs, like look like audiences. And what I've actually been using recently, guys, is uh, a lot of video content. And I'll make an LLA off of the people that have viewed over 95% of that video content and then run like, you know, conversion ads towards that, towards those audiences and stuff. Like 95%. That. Because you want to target the people that literally that's, watch your well, entire that's, ad. That's pretty... You need a lot of data, though. That's what I'm saying. That's like, aggressive. Course, all that kind yeah, of stuff. I do so like 75. you do like an LLA yeah. for that just for the most committed people. Yeah, okay. I love Even watch, like hosting watching the two bicker. You're wrong. Like literally, wrong. this could take so long to go through and like you guys got a brief overview of like, you know, getting into it, like what we did, what we failed with and all that. And that could literally take dozens of hours for oh, each of our oh, strategies yeah. for each platform. Yeah. So I want to kind of flip it. Let's talk about where you see it heading. Where's and the think future? Everybody, you know, since we're actively making money on a daily basis, I'm sure you have your opinions, which is also going to be a little bit relating to your individual strategy. You know, things yeah. you if you're more Instagram versus more Facebook, that changes. Me personally, I see Facebook as something that it keeps getting slammed in the media. As you've seen over like the last six months, all the different press releases, the big stuff. I think that's the government trying to like, I guess, put it in its place, right? They're trying to show the public, hey, we actually give a shit when they actually don't. So it's something they're just trying to make a good example out of it. And Facebook's kind of taking some backlash for it. It does affect us as advertisers in certain ways. But the way that I see e-com going is Facebook ads specifically, at least with what I'm doing in my estimate, is that by the end of 2019, it's gonna be 100% different. Like by the, it will just, nothing will really be the same. You know, things constantly change on a 12 month basis, but I mean like everything. Like I don't, I think it'll still work. Like there's ways to adapt, 
But I'm gonna be so, that's why I'm focused on building brands right now versus just stores in multiple different industries because it's the data. That data list, the solid, fresh, high quality customer, literally purchase lists is what's gonna allow me to make money on that platform. I think it's gonna be very difficult in like 12 to 16 months to actually come up with nothing. Like I think that's- Well, I think even with the full Facebook ad platform, it's just gonna get more expensive too because it's an option. So yeah. as more and more people get into this space, it's just gonna drive prices up. So you really have to like get it. Dude, big out. advertisers like still don't even use stuff. It's crazy. Yeah. They're so late, but then they jump in with a billion dollar a month budget. <laughs> bye bye us. <laughs> Later, bro. You think spending one K a day is a lot? One K a day is gone. Jeez, bro. Um, I don't know. The future, yeah, it's definitely not gonna get easier, guys. We won't lie to you. Um, and if you're getting in right now, it's. I mean, right before Q4 is good and stuff, but it's definitely not gonna be getting any easier, but that's not an excuse, I don't think. I don't want it to seem like, I don't want to scare you away. I don't think that that should be an excuse if you're watching this right now and you're broken and you think that it can you can make it work, you absolutely can. And Aiden, keep in mind that there are a lot of, well, both of you guys, keep in mind that there are a lot of people that are entering the space, but how many people are actually Good. spending more than $100 on Facebook. Like 95% of my DMs are people that have been like, I've spent like 80 bucks on Facebook and I haven't gotten a sale. I get people like I'm ready to like give up. 200, yeah. yeah. So I'd see like a couple hundred. It's like, that's not anything at Dude, all. You know what that tells me? It literally just screams they did not learn from the right place or the right person because if, yeah. if they had purchased any sort of like informational content to like, you know, whether it's a course, a program, learning one-on-one -on -one in person, over the phone, anything that they wanted to do that they saw fit, like is a good fit for them, that tells me they didn't do that. Or they learn from someone who's completely whack because they would have outlined that, ex you know, that expectation. Like yeah. for me, I tell all of my students 100% what you're gonna have to expect to spend. If you don't have the money to spend, you wait, you learn. You can kind of practice in the meantime. We have a strategy for that. Similar to trading stocks, it's like paper trading almost, you know? Like pretend, obviously you can't really pretend with your ads, but there's so much stuff you can learn and it's what I call the pre-structured stuff before you run your ads. Yeah. So become a master at those things. And I do just wanna throw in one thing really quick. A lot of what we do is drop shipping. Now there's a difference between drop shipping and e-commerce. So drop shipping is a subcategory inside of there. Is drop shipping gonna disappear? Potentially, I don't see it as completely disappearing because it's such like a simple they just business change. model. Yeah. But e-commerce itself, I get people asking me, like I think they think it almost means the same thing. Like is e-commerce gonna yeah. yeah. disappear? Selling online e is never just, going to disappear. Yeah. Just, look at Amazon, it just made the richest person in the world a trillion dollar company. Like there is zero chance unless the world becomes disconnected, which we're moving into a more connected world. If your car drives itself, dude. The Tesla like skirt, skirt, it's going. Like, <laughs> like it's well, listen. Out there. Selling, selling shit online is not going away for forever. Um, but dropshipping itself will change. I don't think dropshipping will ever be gone forever. I think that you will always It'll be able to. Change. Yeah, it will change. change. Yeah. It will get harder. But nothing worth doing is going to be easy. What's the thing too? I don't think it's Guys, it's get not, like, do you want to make money? Then stop being lazy. Do you want to make money? Then stop making excuses. It's not that difficult. Yeah, you're gonna have to spend $200, boo hoo. Like it's worth it though. Like, I need to spend some more than that, honestly. You, yeah, just you might have to spend a thousand dollars. Like just to throw you a number, like I was making some good money with my affiliate marketing and influencer marketing when I was 15 and 16. I had put aside five grand into an account which at like just turning 16 was a pretty decent amount of money. So out of that, I had spent none of it on actually learning anything. I wasn't even like watching YouTube videos. I got cocky because of the money I was making, which I thought it was a lot at the time. So I literally over the next five months on just Facebook ads, like I explained, spent $4,700. Can either of you guess, I don't know if I've told you how much money I made off $4,700 in ads spent over five months. I don't even know. Take a guess. I'm gonna say 30. 30 bucks? <laughs> Not a single sale. It's actually in the middle. It was $13.95. One sale came in the second month. Like. Do you understand? I was never like, oh, I'm no, but look at that. Wait, look at that too. You, you must have been you bad, bro. You just said you spent it was only bad. You have to be really $5. bad. That was like, that was he just said he almost spent five thousand dollars. We both know that experimentation on Facebook, especially when you're brand new, takes a lot of money sometimes. You don't need to go through like, that. We both said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got kicked in the yeah. balls with that, but you know what? I never. Some people get he actually did everything said. wrong. Like oh, yeah. you, <laughs> you it, it, that would be the worst 100%. that it will ever be. It won't. Everything I've done has just been like the most ineffective way by myself. Like, no <laughs> help. Like it's just it's. But it is what it is. You know, I got. I just work harder than most people. It's as simple as that. Yeah. So what you said about people saying they're going to give up after eighty dollars, I did not even think about giving up after I'd spent that amount of money. Like I had almost no money left. But I see people making money. If I see someone making money, I know it's possible. So that just means I'm doing something wrong. That's mm -hmm. it. It's as simple as that. I don't care how you slice it. Yeah. That's it. I mean, I just think the market is just going to change. And I think, I mean, in terms of just where everything is kind of going, I think, especially with what I do, like content, branding, whatnot, like, I think people are going to have to learn how to actually brand their stores more. 
Like, you know, like way back in like 2016, you, you could literally go so to a Shopify nice. store, slap some shit on, you know, a Debut website. Theme, yeah, literally, like, <laughs> and you're good to go. And like, obviously, you know, a lot changes. And I think people misinterpret change as getting a lot harder sometimes, which is not necessarily the case. Um, but it's just like, even with Instagram, like back in 2016, when they switched their whole algorithm, where it's like, oh, it's not chronological anymore. Now it's based on the Facebook algorithm where they, they're just going to display whatever. And everyone's like, oh, influencers are dead. But they, they weren't actually dead. You, just have, to, you have to shift work. it. Yeah, yeah, the market just changed and you have to adapt to that change. Dude, to be like, honest, I don't, as long as social media is live, I don't think dropshipping will die. As long as people are still browsing Facebook and Snapchat, so here's the thing too, it's also because like, it's every year, products. every year, more people are going to start doing social media, and every year there's going to be 10 million new people on Snapchat that have never bought any products online. Like people cycle through this bubble. Younger kids who are finally getting phones. Getting exactly. Social media. Like, Even the rest of the world that's getting access to internet. Like, yeah, yeah. Most of the oh, world. as long as there's social like media, there's right only like two yep. billion or what is it, like three billion it's, people. Half the world that, is yeah. connected to the internet. Yeah. As Think long as there's social media, there's there's going to be money to make online for sure. Yeah, that's my no excuses. Unless Trump bans e-packet, what? <laughs> yeah, not effective till. No, I don't even think that over. Not effective until twenty. It says right? if you leave the document, not effective until twenty. Yeah, but that's yeah. only. Stop asking me to make a video on that. Go do the research yourself and look at that. Bro, not effective. That's gonna promote more warehouses in the USA. Yeah, so you're just gonna make suppliers. That's gonna more stuff in the USA. That will actually. I view that as a positive. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Oh, that could be US based. You can even use that in your marketing. There and then people are gonna be like, oh, but it's gonna raise my shipping prices up. Great. Well, it's like, raise your if prices. If you can't too. afford, yeah, a two raise days, five days. Brand Flex on products. them. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys want to see monthly videos by us, <laughs> <laughs> join our oh Discord. Oh my god, ninety nine dollars a month for for one live stream with us for a week. No, Dude, that'd be totally worth it. Five actually drop. We would be down. Leave a comment yeah. if this video gets twenty thousand likes. I'll maybe maybe we'll do some sort of like group. I want like you know updated. That would actually be so like, cool. Actually, we'll, we'll that would be pretty that interesting. Uh, like a Q and A. If it feels like us four, maybe with Tanner too. Yeah. Yeah. Or use Tanner. Or what use right, and use and use everyone. Five of us. Oh. I'm oh, down. that'd be crazy. We'll see. Let us know your feedback. If you guys enjoyed this video, hey, we appreciate it that you guys it. stuck this far. I do appreciate it. You know what, guys? Leave a like. Or so. Leave a like. Leave a like on the video. This is going to be on all three. Hi, Chayden. Uh, Chayden? I just called you Chayden. Uh, hi, uh, Hayden subscribers. How you guys doing? Yes. Huh? Hey, Sebastian. Gale. I just want to... The Gior Z. I wanted to let you guys know. Wait, wait, wait. Let's clear up Come subscribe to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> let's split, no, subscribe to me. I'm like this close to 100K. <laughs> Subs talk. Both of us. Wait, wait. Let's clear the air right now. Is okay. it Gior Z or Georgie? It's Jor... It's Georgie Goo Goo. <laughs> Georgie. <laughs> Guys, Georgie. you're making fun of me for something that's out of my control. So you can 100% change your name. Your name. <laughs> Why am I changing my last name? Oh, you guys are cool. Alright, peace guys. <laughs> Alright, bye Sebastian. We'll take hey, the video We appreciate from here. you guys. Go check out that Instagram. channel. We'll leave a link down below. With that being said, we'll be seeing you guys tomorrow in the next video because I post daily on my channel. Peace. Hey, yo. <laughs>